Hey everybody, my name is Gallic Ender and welcome to my How Was Your Week series. This is a series where I just talk about my week and I answer questions that you guys leave to me in the comments or if you ask me one on Discord or Twitter. So if you have a question for me, I'd be more than happy to answer it in next week's video. So just go to the, one of those three places and that's where you will ask and I will answer. So first off, Happy Easter. I hope you had a great time with your family and loved ones and got a lot of candy. And happy April Fool's Day. I hope you didn't get trolled too hard on the internet. So, yeah, those Rick and Roll memes I think are the best, so I don't mind getting trolled, so... I don't know. I love the Rick and Roll meme. I think it's funny. This one's a bit late. Uh, it's been two weeks since I made a How Was Your Week video, and because the last week I did nothing but studying. All I did was study. I had a big exam the next week, and I just... Just, all I did, that's it, just study. This. So if I would have made one last week, it would have been very boring. I didn't want to do that. I want to tell you guys stories, not just tell you guys my stress. So, yeah, that's why there wasn't one last week. And I meant to tell you guys on Discord, but, you know, this was coming. You were going to find out either way. It's not like I'm slacking off. I just want these to be entertaining. So that was the last week. And uh, this week was a lot more eventful, and I got a lot to tell you. So, yeah, let's get into that. So Monday, all I did was study because the exam was the next day. It was really good because I sat down with my statistics tutor and he taught me very well everything I was confused with. I just got it and snapped. I, had, I was more prepared than I've ever been for an exam and I was confident, which was very rare for me because I have really bad retest anxiety. I'm not going to lie. It gets, it gets pretty uh, annoying, but I just really felt good about this. And when I took the exam the next day, which was my birthday, how I wanted to spend it, but, you know, that's life. And, uh, I went, and I, I nailed it. I passed, I passed the flying colors. I did so good. I was so proud of myself. So was my family. I'm really grateful for that. And my girlfriend, who has been very supportive, was proud of me, and I thank her, and my family for all the support they gave me, and my friends. There's a lot of people that support me, and I'm very grateful for that. So, yep, on my birthday, I took the exam. You know that. I passed. Woo. Awesome. But afterwards, it was just kind of like, eh. You know, it was the middle of the week. A lot of people were busy. They didn't have a lot of time to do anything. But two of my very good friends, uh, your boy Moo and his girlfriend, Angela, who actually made the Avatar picture on my channel that you guys know and love. And I'm very grateful for that. It was actually a painting of it on my wall that she gave me for my birthday. You know what? I'll show you guys that real quick. One second. This is the painting. She handmade this. It's the galaxy theme, which is what I really like about, which, you know, kind of themed around my channel. There's my avatar and kind of like an ominous mist type space cloud type deal. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite gifts and I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's so sweet. I wish she would have signed it though, because it's actually really good work. Next time she's around, I'm going to have her sign it because, you know, it was made by her. But if you're watching this, thank you. I still love my gift. That wasn't the only cool gift I got for my birthday. Um, my girlfriend, bless her heart, got me a custom Xbox controller. And I love it. I'll show you guys that too. This is the controller she made for me. And I love it. And she got it off the Microsoft Store. Uh, you know, where the, co the controller lab. And my favorite part about it are the triggers. Because they're steel and they're like this really tough... You know, steel color, like dark gray. I like it. I like the buttons, the way they match with it. It's just like a very bright and dark contrast, and it just ends up making me look really tough. And it feels good in my hands. It feels new. She got the rubber grips on the back, which is something that's very important to me when it comes to controller. I love the rubber grips, but it's just so nice. I love it. It is my new favorite controller, and I'm going to use it until it cannot be used anymore. Hopefully because I didn't drop it. Oh, man. But on my birthday, they came out and saw me. Uh, Timmy, or Moo, bought me a game for my birthday. Really nice. Can't wait. I'm going to stream that because uh, he wants to see me get pissed at it. And I think live would be the best way to do that. And his girlfriend got me a pop, which was really thoughtful of her because she knows I love them. Like all of them in the back. And uh, it was a C3PO one. It was a Funko... Very exclusive. In fact, I'm show you that too. <laughs> the bobblehead C3PO. I love it. It looks very shiny. I like the detail. The stance is just like you know the ones in the movie, so they don't really have to go far with it to be authentic, which is good because I like simple 
designs, but it's really nice. I like the stand it comes with, so I know it's never going to fall over. The bobblehead, I can deal with that, but you know, that's just how they make the Star Wars ones. There's nothing wrong with that. But I love it. Thank you if you're watching. The next day, Wednesday, I just took off because the day before was my birthday. I didn't get to do a lot of relaxing, which is what I initially wanted to do. So I just took the day off and I was caught up on my work. And I was like, you know what? Let's just chill, play some games. I play a lot of Far Cry which is a game I really recommend you get. Far Cry 5 is really good. I like the story, I like the way the game progresses. The regions are a lot of fun. You don't have to stay locked to story missions to get progression. You can do it just by exploring the map, taking out cult VIPs, freeing hostages, finding, uh, you know, the, what, they're, what are they called? They're like bunkers and they have like stashes of like treasures and money and you know, weapons you, you, might, you may or may not have and it's really a lot of fun. So if you're interested about that game, I highly recommend it. It's really fun. I love it. And uh, yeah, that was about Wednesday. Thursday, which was the 29th, me and my girlfriend went and saw Jacksepticeye on his How Did We Get Here tour. And it was a pretty good show. I had fun. It was a fun show. Although I sat next to a circle of fangirls. Every reference, everything that was said, there was a lot of screaming. <laughs> I was happy they were excited, but my ears were ringing when I got to that auditorium <laughs> in the Hard Rock. Oh man, show was good though, I liked it. It was a good show. And I got a poster from the event. It's the How Did We Get Here tour poster. It's got all the events that you went to, it's got the, you know, the art of the show. It's really neat. I like it. It's, you know, it represents him pretty well. It's kind of gross, but, you know, <laughs> it's a septic guy. What more do you know? I'm not going to explain much of the tour, or, like, you know, much of the show, because uh, he stated in the beginning of it, this show is unique to the audience. Every show is different. It all has the same framework. Don't think you're missing anything if you haven't seen all the shows. It's got the same framework around it, but the audience and how they interact with him is what makes the show different. So... If you're going, you're going to have a good time. It's going to be good. Uh, yeah, that was it. After the show, me and my girlfriend went to the Chocolate Emporium, which was right next to the Hard Rock, because the show was in the City Walk at the Hard Rock Live. And, it was, you know, that that's next to uh, Universal and Islands of Adventure. So they got all, like, the tourist area of City Walk and got all the cool restaurants. So we went there, and they have really good desserts and they have really good food surprisingly a place focused around dessert usually doesn't have like good food we've got burgers there and they were really really well made rachel loved it we got to see the owners uh walk around that was really cool and uh it was really really nice it was a bit expensive because of where we were but that's okay it was really cool and i highly recommend that you go there if you're in the area and that was thursday and friday uh i got a haircut looks pretty good although I wish it was a bit longer and it's just the same cycle every time I get a haircut I get it cut I don't like that it's short and then I do like it and then I want it to grow out and then it grows out and then I get annoyed with it and I want to cut it and it's just this vicious cycle of me constantly bitching about my hair because I'm picky whatever <laughs> oh, boy. my girlfriend thinks I'm attractive and that's all that matters to me uh, then on Easter weekend I went to the beach with my family. We all got together. We got to see my cousin David, or 03 Cobra as you guys know him. And we played a lot of games together, which was really nice. That's how we talk mostly, because he lives about like two hours away from me. We're both constantly busy, and we go to different schools for now. But soon, we'll be going to the same school, and we'll be living together in the summer. And for a while, it's because uh, we're going to the same college, and we'll be living together, which is something we've been wanting to do since we were in high school. So it's really neat how, after all this time, our plans are about to come true. And I can't wait to show you guys the move in the summer. And yeah, it's going to be a great point in my life. And I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So that was basically my week. Easter went well. Got to see my family. I got some Reese eggs, which is my favorite Easter candy. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's my week. So now I guess we can just answer the questions, which we got one from the last video. And uh, it's an interesting one, I can tell you that. All right. It's Cow Ask. If Jaratasu ate a burger at 13 years old, 
he spotted a coyote. When will that coyote spot ninja, spot a turtle, on the side of the road? P.S. I'm the best at random Reinhardt charges. Well then, I can't say anything about Reinhardt, but for your question, I think the best way to answer that would be... Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down.